What if I told you you can make as much as $15,000 a month by typing on your computer? Well, in today's video, I've got nine of the best typing jobs from home, and many of these are actually pretty easy to get into. And the first one on the list is going to be a Raider, and one company that you could work for is going to be TELUS. Now, TELUS is a customer experience and digital solutions related company. And as a Raider, you would basically be helping search engines to be as effective and accurate as possible. So basically you would be rating and providing feedback on web searches, text, and images. Now the salaries for raters vary from about 15 to $42 per hour. And Glassdoor has raters at TELUS International making about $42 per hour. So some of the pros of this one are it's remote work and you have a flexible schedule. It can be engaging and intellectually stimulating work. And they do have a competitive compensation and benefits package. Some of the cons of this one are it does have a pretty demanding workload and you do have to have good attention to detail. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list might be good for you if you want to be able to greet people without ever having to go into an office. And that's going to be a virtual receptionist for the company Smith.ai. And this company is all about helping other companies become more responsive. And right on the home page, they say that responsive businesses win more clients. And they basically help businesses solve their problems when it comes to the subjects of 24-7 phone answering, sales outreach campaigns, live website chat, SMS text answering, lead screening and intake, and appointment scheduling. And as a virtual receptionist, you're gonna be responsible for greeting clients, answering incoming phone calls, and managing schedules. And you can do all of this from the comfort of your own home. Now, one of the reasons that I chose Smith.ai is they had really good reviews online from people who have worked there. But you can do this job for many different companies. And according to Indeed, receptionists working at Smith.ai make about $15 an hour. So some of the pros here are the opportunity to represent businesses in a bunch of different industries. So this can be great for you if you want to get your foot in the door in certain industries, for instance. You also have a chance to develop your communication and customer service skills. And of course, you have the freedom and flexibility to work remotely. Some of the cons here are it does require self-discipline as well as effective time management. And in some cases, you may have to handle difficult clients. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. All right, so the next one on the list is going to be one of my favorites. And I have a prediction that this is a career that is going to blow up in the next 10 years. And that's going to be a freelance writer and one of the websites you can get hired on is problogger.com. And problogger is a platform that connects freelance writers with clients. Now, one thing I'll say about freelance writing is it's very important to specialize. I think one of the main reasons why people sort of get burned out on writing and they quit is because of the fact that they aren't specializing enough. So for one, you don't just want to be a general writer. You want to choose a niche. And the reason for that is because of the fact that audiences have gotten mature, right? They're very smart and they'll know if you don't know what you're writing about. So you want to choose a niche that you're passionate and or you know a lot about. So for instance, maybe you're very passionate about the gaming niche or personal finance or business or software. That is the type of niche you would want to specialize in. But then you would want to specialize even further. You would want to pick a medium for writing as well. So you could be a blog writer, a YouTube script creator, or somebody who writes for newsletters. And if you get really good in whatever niche and medium that you specialize in, that that's how you can make amazing money. And there are writers that make well over $100,000 a year, and some of them can even make it to the seven-figure level. And just about all good content across the internet originates from good writing. It doesn't matter whether it's YouTube videos or podcasts or Instagram reels or Twitter posts. Almost all of it is researched and scripted because that is how you make good content. The days of just turning on your camera and ranting are over. Audiences expect well-researched content now. And so this is a career that's going to be really big in the future and it's already pretty good now. And I also think this is a career that's great to get your start if you want to become a content creator yourself. So the pros here are you get access to a wide range of writing opportunities, you get to work from home and set your own schedule, and you can connect with reputable clients. And once you have a portfolio built up, that's when you can charge more and make more money. Some of the cons here are there is intense competition for generalist writers. So do not be a generalist, be a specialist. If you take one thing from this video, that is the thing you should take. Always be a specialist. There can also be tight deadlines, and sometimes you will suffer from what's known as writer's block. But the opportunity score here is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a very common career that you hear about quite a bit, but it's honestly one of the best ones to get your foot in the door when it comes to a remote or work from home job, and that's going to be a transcriber. And there's many websites you can work for. One of them is going to be gotranscript.com. And transcription is where you convert video or audio 
files into a written manuscript. And according to Glassdoor, transcriptionists make about $40,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are it is fully remote. That means you can work from anywhere in the world that you have an internet connection. You have a variety of different transcription related projects and you get prompt payment for completed work. Some of the cons are the tight deadlines can be very demanding at times. You're gonna need a lot of self-discipline to manage yourself and typing a lot can give you finger strain. So make sure that you get a good keyboard. But overall, this is one of the easiest jobs to get started working remotely, whether you just wanna make a little bit of extra money on the side, or you could potentially make a full-time income. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Chances are you don't wanna do it for your entire career, but it's a great place to get started. The next one on the list is gonna be another type of transcriptionist, but it's gonna be a little bit more specialized, which is something that I recommend doing. And that is a legal transcriptionist for verbit. So apart from transcribing different legal proceedings, you might also be responsible for transcribing phone calls, personal videos, social media videos, surveillance camera footage, investigation recordings, and many more. Now, according to Verbit's website, they're gonna start legal transcriptionists off at about $16 per hour. And according to Glassdoor, Verbit transcriptionists make about $27 per hour. Plus they have a comprehensive benefits package. So some of the pros here are it's fully remote work. You get exposure to legal proceedings and terminology. So if you want to work in the legal industry at some point, this could be a great way to get your foot in the door. And you have an opportunity to collaborate with legal professionals. Some of the cons here are there is complex terminology that you're gonna have to know. It can be challenging to maintain accuracy over long recordings. And there is a high level of confidentiality and professionalism required. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is kind of like being a wingman in the digital world. And that is going to be a virtual assistant. And one company you can work for is timeetc.com. Now there are many different websites you can work for as a virtual assistant. Time Etc. is for some of the more high-end ones. So a lot of the time, these are gonna be virtual assistants that work with executives, for instance. And as a virtual assistant for this company, you're basically gonna be helping executives schedule and manage their workload. So in many cases, you'll be fielding calls from other executives from other companies that wanna get a hold of the person that you're representing. So this can be a very good position for networking. And with this company, you'll be earning a minimum of $17 per hour. So some of the pros here are you get to work remotely with flexibility. You'll get to work on a wide range of different tasks and projects in order to expand your skills. And it can be great for networking. Some of the cons here are you have to be very organized. You have to have great time management skills and self-discipline. Sometimes you'll have to meet tight deadlines and it can be a high pressure position. So overall, the opportunity score here is gonna be a seven out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're somebody who spends like 10 hours a day on social media anyways. And that's gonna be a social media specialist for PCMag.com. And PCMag is a massive authority site that covers different types of technology. And in this position, you'll be responsible for distributing content across different social media platforms. On top of that, you'll be writing engaging copy and you'll be brainstorming ideas for content that you can post. So this job allows you to work from home while tapping into your creative genius. So some of the pros here are it is a fully remote position. You can work from anywhere. You get exposure to cutting edge technologies and you have a chance to engage with a large passionate audience. Some of the cons here are part of your job is going to be monitoring and responding to comments and some of those can be negative. It really doesn't matter how good of a job your company does. There's always going to be trolls. You're going to have to have excellent multitasking and communication skills and you're going to have to stay on top of the ever evolving tech landscape. But overall, social media specialist is a great career to get into in my opinion and it's also a really good one for you to learn if you want to start your own brand in the future. This one is going to get a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another career that a lot of people look down on, but it's super easy to get your first remote job with. And that is going to be a customer service professional. And in this example, you're going to be working for work.com with two R's and work.com is yet another B2B company, which means business to business. And that means they provide services to other companies. And in this particular case, they help other companies hire customer service professionals. And as a customer service professional, you are going to be responding to clients through email, chat, and on the phone. And a quote I really like is, is if you're not taking care of your customers, your competitor will. And one of the reasons why I included this one on the list is because they honestly had really good reviews online. And as a customer service representative at work, you'll make about $20 per hour. Plus they have really good perks and benefits. So some of the pros here are remote work flexibility, opportunities to work with different clients and industries. So this can be a great way to get your foot in the door if you wanna work in the technology industry, for instance, and competitive pay and potential for career growth. Some of the cons here are you are gonna have to deal with challenging and demanding customers. You are gonna have limited face-to-face 
face-to-face -face interaction with your colleagues and networking can be difficult. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. This is probably one of the easiest careers to get your first remote or work from home job in. The next one on the list is gonna be another job that's relatively easy to get and that's going to be a typist. And you're gonna be working for Van and Services. And this is kind of like a transcriptionist, but it's less specialized. So a lot of the time you'll be captioning or subtitling. But this one can be really good for you, especially if you know multiple languages. And according to Glassdoor, typists at this company make about $20 per hour, although other estimates online can be lower than that. So some of the pros of this one are diverse typing assignments, competitive pay for skilled typists, and it is very flexible. Some of the cons of this one are the nature of the job can be somewhat repetitive, you may have to manage multiple projects simultaneously, and there is limited room for growth. So overall, because of the fact that this one is less specialized and you should really specialize in something especially like transcription, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of six out of 10. Now, by the way, I have a bunch of resources for careers that I really like and careers that are really easy to get into. I've also interviewed a ton of people who have used these resources to get into those careers. And I'll put them down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And also, if you wanna check out a bunch of other remote jobs that maybe don't have anything to do with typing, I did make a remote job tier list where I listed, I think, over 30 of them. And you can check that out by clicking right here.